Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okoyemi. If you're new here, you're absolutely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by today again. I just want you guys to know, like, I love you guys so much. <laughs> and I'm doing everything possible to bring this video to you today. Okay? I'm literally filming in the kitchen. And I don't use this kitchen alone. So somebody might literally come in soon. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that nobody comes in for the next quick 10 to 15 minutes while I'm able to make this video, right? And I hope that this video comes out well at the end of the day, okay? Um, so you guys already can tell from the title of this video that I'm bringing a life update to you guys and probably have already guessed from my background, um, from my title maybe or from my thumbnail. And if you also follow me on Instagram, you probably also already know. So your girl has relocated to the United Kingdom. That's the summary of the life of it, guys. I now work in the United Kingdom as a medical doctor. I currently now work with the NHS um, as a clinical fellow. This is the point where you guys say, oh my gosh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. So this 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 whole journey has been like a couple years in the making. And I'm just going to get right into it. and just just you guys about like what it's been like. All of that good stuff. The summary is that if you're a doctor practicing outside of the UK and you want to move to the UK, you need to take certain exams to allow you to be able to practice in the United Kingdom, right? So I started this journey in 2020. So when I finished, when I was in uni, I already had an idea of, oh, five exams to work in the UK, but I didn't really have like so much information. But by the time I started my house job, I started to hear people talk a lot about fab and that's when it just started to sink in a little bit more like, hmm, do I want to stay in, in, in Nigeria for the rest of my practice? Do I want to go to another country? If I want to go to another country, where do I want to go? And prior to this, I had been coming into the UK back and forth since 2015. I, I had come 2015, right in 2015, I had come 2018, 2019, so I had come four times. And so I was a bit familiar with the country. I have family in the country. So it just felt like the right place to come to. I have never been to the US. And those are like the two popular countries that most IMGs, IMGs mean international medical graduates go to when they are moving from their home country. So it was kind of like a very easy decision really to just go with. Plus, majority of the um, information available was for UK routes. That kind of just like, you know, went to the flow and thought, yeah, I would do UK, right? So, then I, you know, gathered the information about the exams and all of that. And I knew that the first step was to do my IELTS, the English exam. And that was the first hurdle I had, having to deal with the fear. Because I heard so many people talk about how, oh, IELTS is difficult. People always have issues. People don't pass it well, especially the writing and the reading aspects. So I was really scared. And I kept on stalling on writing my IELTS exam for a while. Also, I was in the place of feeling like, oh, I don't know what God's will is about relocation and all of that at the time. And I remember talking to one of my pastors in church and I remember he told me that, you know what, it's fine. Um, if you're still in that phase of deciding and hearing from God, you could go ahead with the process and just keep your mind open. And if God tells you, oh, um, stay back, then you stay back, right? So I decided to, you know, do the journey. And then I had to mentally deal with the fear of my IELTS exam and believe that I would pass. And at the time as well, I had friends who were also on the journey. Some were coming for masters, some were beginning to start the club process. And at the time, I think we were three who were going to do the exam around the same time. So it gave me a lot of ginger. I remember I was living in my friend's house the day I finally paid for the exam because um GMC, that's the regulation body for doctors in the UK, General Medical Council, announced that they were going to be releasing dates for 2021 in January of 2021. So I knew that, okay, if I was going to be able to get a date to write in 2021, then I needed to do my exam by December of 2020. Then the results will come out January 1st. The results actually came out January 1st, 2021. So I could book, I think they released the date January 15th, you know, against August and November of 2021. So, um, being in my friend's house, I just had, I just got motivated and I decided to finally, you know, pay for the exam. So I did pay. I had about, I'm pretty sure I didn't have up to a full month to study for the exam. So told my parents, they're very supportive. I started to study for the exam. And then I finally traveled to Abekuta to go and write it. I remember that was actually my own first time of driving um, a long distance drive. But that's, that's besides the point. So 
So I went to have a good time. My speaking was for Friday. My other parts, writing, listening, reading were for Saturday. So I got it done. And to the glory of God, my results came out 1st of January 2021 and I passed. And it was like literally like a <laughs> New Year's gift for me. So I remember then running around and that's when the date came out. And I had to just tell my cousin that I need to take permission. If you see me looking, it's because again, like I said, I'm in the kitchen and I'm like, oh my gosh, people could enter at any point in time. And I'm here just because the lightning is like the best. The lightning in my room is not very great. And like the outside light coming in is also not very great. The time is about past three now in winter, like sun sets really, really quick. <laughs> so, so the outside light coming in is not very great. Anyways, back to the story. So I finally got on the website, took permission, went out of the round and I got there. There were no Nigerian dates available for August, November. There was no Ghana date because Ghana is close by. There was no Ghana date. So I found UK date and I finally, and okay, so I found UK date. And at the time I had like a valid UK visa that I could use to come and write the exam in the UK. So I just called my dad and said, I mean, I can't find Nigeria dates, no Ghana dates. Can I just take the UK home? Because I was just like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. And to be honest, more dates actually popped up. But at the time, I was, it was just like a panic decision. So I decided to book the UK one. So I booked Manchester in November 2021. So if you guys remember that there were some videos that came up on my channel when I traveled to the UK. Well, I put them eventually months after. If you are an OG on this channel, or at least if you've seen my old videos, there was a video I made where we did a surprise birthday for my uncle. That was when I went to ride my Pav 1. So November 2021, I think it was November 4, if I remember correctly, that's when I wrote my Pav 1. And thank God, the result came out end of December. There about it takes six weeks. So I think mid December year, and I passed my club one, and then I was able to book for my club two, which I wrote in July of 2022, July 14. It was a Thursday, I believe, year of 2022. So I wrote my club two. Results came out in August of 2022, and I passed my club two. Now the gag was job hunt, job hunting. My gosh, it, it did a lot for me. It, Ah, oh my gosh, it was very long. If you guys don't know, now you probably know getting a job in the UK now is much more difficult than it used to be, especially for those who don't have any just experience. Um, but I did like a couple weeks of attachment in a GP practice because I stayed back in the UK for a bit before I traveled back to Nigeria. Somebody is coming to the kitchen, guys. Hi, how are you? Good. Alright guys, somebody came in and I got shy and I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so I was talking about the fact that I did an attachment for a few weeks and then, yeah, I guess that kind of helped my CV. However, I had to travel back and had to start working, which you guys know I did a job in internal medicine for about nine months. So I was actually working in Babcock, so I basically just went back to my alma mater. And to be honest, now in retrospect, I'm grateful that I did take that job because it really did increase my knowledge of medicine which is very instrumental to my current job so that's like the summary of everything if you guys have specific questions about Pab 1, Pab 2 IELTS please don't hesitate to ask and I just thank God because now that the job is here and I'm now in the job it's almost like all those months of waiting trusting crying hoping for a job which I'm still going to do a video about on my job hunting process and how I got this job I'm currently in it's all forgotten. And I just, I remember I was looking at something on Diary of a Kitchen Lover's page where she was talking about how Ola and Tiffy, like basically all those years when she was trusting God for a child. And that's literally what happened when what you're waiting for finally happens, right? So I just thank God. This is, <laughs> this is the update I have for you guys. God is good all the time. I'm grateful. And this is my testimony. This is my biggest, biggest testimony of 2023. A big shout out to my parents, my family, my friends, everyone who's been very supportive on this journey. What held my hands, helped me out, helped me with applications, pushed me, told me not to give up on the days where I wanted to, and all of that stuff. I'm just like really grateful. Um, yeah, so more videos to come. I've already been vlogging, so you guys are gonna see like my vlog from 2022 when I went to my part two. You're gonna see vlogs of my last week in Nigeria. Um, that's like, yeah, my last week in Nigeria, my first week here, starting work. Right now, Sha, I stopped vlogging because all those backlog were clogging my phone and also clogging my head because I was just like, I have so much content I haven't put out. Where do I even start from? Um, so yeah, guys, let me know whatever content you want to see. I'll be happy to help. 
And I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope to see you in my next videos coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching guys and bye.